Hey, good morning YouTube. Hugmeister's Garage and Workshop. Uh, part 6 of our uh, bus conversion job. Uh, getting some finished stuff in here, or at least placed. Uh, you come up the steps. Actually left this so you could put your shoes on there. Another piece of that subway vinyl I bought. We got our fire extinguisher. Got our floor all done. Waiting for some Sam's Club entry mats to put here to wipe off our dirty shoes. Countertops pretty much done. Just got to get the push rods and the curtains for the entrances or the uh, openings. Got a couple uh, folding chairs in here for now, but uh, I was going to put a futon in here, but it, it sticks out too far into the walkway. So I ordered a couple of those double, uh, double folding chair sets from uh, Sam's Club and uh, That'll be good enough. Then if we ever need to fold them up, we can get them out of the way. Uh, got our thermostat on. Got our TV pole mounted from... Uh, that's actually a Harbor Freight TV mount. That works perfect for this 32-inch TV. You can swing it pretty much wherever you want to go. And we got our pellet stove in here. My brother-in-law Mark and I got it in. We went straight out the back with a four-inch hole saw, so you can slide the uh, slide the piece on and off. Got some nice half-inch bolts down through the floor with some fish plates on the bottom. So if I come to a stop, the stove don't keep going out past me past the windshield. <laughs> got our porta potty in. Uh, my wife's going to make a curtain for this. We're going to put a rod on the back. We did end up making a like an enclosure right there so I mean it's not very good for me but I can get under there and that's gonna be okay got our refrigerator in here little garbage can uh, let's see got a small mat back there for the floor got our cooktop in and our sink set uh, we still got to finish these off. I got a long propane hose and regulator set. We got to put a, uh, you know, trim the sink out, put the drain in. But we got the countertop cuts done. Leave, left us a good piece of countertop here. I'm probably going to put a little bit of a heat shield behind that back burner, but we probably won't even use it that much, to tell you the truth. Got our other heater up here. Trim these shelves out with some more of that uh, Subway linoleum we got. Trim the face off. So we got some nice shelves here. Put a piece on top. I uh, got that other piece put on that removable section. So we can just lift that out to work on that uh, the electric from the front or open the door and I can get to it from the back. Headboard. Uh, thank God as it'll start hauling some of these tools out of here. Now we start working on some lighting and just some small stuff but uh, for the most part the big stuff's done uh, that pellet stove is perfect in here I mean it keeps it toasty and when it's uh, we uh, redid it uh, rebuilt the controls in it I got another video on there where we had this old stove and rebuild it and it works great and like I say with that thermostat on the back side of that pole it just uh, once that calls for, once that's satisfied, that blower shuts off and it goes into low fire mode. And it seems to work pretty good in here so far. But uh, that's it, folks. Almost ready to move across the road over to the campsite. Next up, we'll probably be putting solar panels on the roof and doing some electric work in the back. So have a nice day.